When you sit down to watch a game of League of Legends, you're usually prepared for anything from a 20 minute stomp to a 60 minute grind. But over the past few years, we've seen some games exceed that one hour mark. We witnessed Fnatic and Origin go for 80 minutes and 28 seconds in 2016. Complexity and Curse lasted 80 minutes and 37 seconds in 2014. But no professional game lasted longer than Game 3 of Jin Air Green Wings vs SK Telecom in Week 1 of the 2018 LCK Spring Split. Let's set the stage. SKT was coming off a finals loss to Samsung Galaxy in the world's 2017 finals. Huni and Peanut had left the team, leaving SKT with a couple question marks. Their second match of the split was against the Jin Air Green Wings team that finished sixth the season prior. Going into Game 3, the series was already a marathon. SKT won the first game in 46 minutes, and Jin Air bested that with a 52-minute win in Game 2. Everyone was ready for a long rubber match, but no one was prepared for what was to come. In match select, it was evident that both sides were playing towards late game compositions. Jin Air had the duo of Azir and Sivir, while SKT had Ezreal and Kassadin. Both teams were content with sitting back and scaling. Aside from a couple of aggressive plays, the game was incredibly passive until SKT forced to play at Baron at the 30 minute mark. So, very well killed, could still survive, except they're going to go ahead and turn off, go in, in on the so on, but the Bower is there to keep alive. Forge God yet again coming through, we'll see where he wants to redirect it, gets the pop up there in the back line onto Wolf and Bang. He's going to find the first kill in this fight. Baker following up for the second one. Teddy does manage to take down Effort, but he pays for that one very swiftly with his own life. That Baron buff helped SKT grow a 10k gold lead, pick up an Elder Dragon, and eventually all three of Jin Air's inhibitors. From there, SKT should have been able to close this one out. Jin Air was able to hang on as they found pick after pick that translated into Barons of their own. Their late game was online, and they were able to thwart multiple backdoor attempts by SKT. At 65 minutes, SKT once again had knocked down all of the inhibitors and had their eyes on the Nexus. They need to show threat the moment people walk up, though. What, they're walking up now. Baker going in, looking for Teddy. He he's goes still low, he's still alive. He manages to stay alive, now looking for Tell. Doesn't get locked up. He might up. be able to turn it around. Might be able to take him out. Turret does go down. Nexus exposed Tell. Getting popped, will be coming back from the Guardian Angel, but he's immediately destroyed, and Jin Air will hold out yet again. 75 minutes in, SKT mounted yet another attempt, this time with Baron and Elder Dragon in hand. All right, Tal. Baker, watch Baker here. He's got the transformation, ready to go. Umpty jumping in on him. Call the Forge God coming through Faker. Well, watch the base, watch the base, forward. watch the Nexus. He can't get the interrupt, Teddy. He's going to take down Faker. The Nexus is still untouched. For the next 10 plus minutes, it was rinse and repeat. SKT gathered buffs only to be stopped by the Green Wings. Finally, in the 86th minute, Jin Air were able to go on the offensive. And Justice has to move back. Bang. He's back actually knocked up. up. He's, He's gonna dead. go down. Teddy finds the kill. That's the fight I was looking for. Is he going over the wall? There's a turret there. I wasn't 100% sure, but it's dying. For the first time in I don't know how long Jin Air have taken a structure in this game. Now in control of the map, they march towards the enemy nexus and accomplish what SKT had been trying to do for nearly an hour. Working on that first turn, it's going to go down, Baker dead still, as you say, and I think they might have finally done it. Wolf goes in, flag and drag, tries to get the pop up, so there's no follow up. Nexus now exposed, Jin Air, I think they've finally done it. 94 and a half minutes on the clock, they take it home, and Jin Air Greenwings take down SKT. The game ended at 94 minutes and 40 seconds. SKT lost the game with six Barons, seven Dragons, and 13 inhibitor kills. Meanwhile, Teddy had a record 1,465 minion kills as Jin Air were able to win their game of tower defense. Congrats to Jin Air and SKT for holding the record for the longest game in League of Legends professional history. And we hope that no game ever goes this long ever again.